Any one of you that has any kind of an illness, there's a cure for all, all your ear illnesses. One is through what's called a zapper, Z-A-P-P-E-R, using frequency. Now the frequency controls the DNA crystalline. All crystals are, runs on frequency, radio frequency. The radio frequencies are controlled by the radio frequencies through the brain. And it's, it's transmitted almost as fast as electricity goes through wire into your body. Your brain talks to every cell in your body. And so therefore, with the radio frequency, you can target, if you have arthritis, arthritis is caused by flatworm. 30 kilohertz frequency will kill 80% of your flatworm in six minutes, reducing your arthritis inflammation, which is feces, which crosses nitrate within the cartilage. And your arthritis will disappear. And you'll be free to move again. If you have um, uh, all your different cancers is a protein. All cancer is a protein. You target the identity of that, of that protein. You identify that through 3,850 different frequencies. You then dial in that frequency into a radio generator called the zapper. And it will target only the frequency of the DNA. Once the DNA breaks, it cannot talk to the chromosome. The chromosome cannot talk to the cell. The cell does not know how to eat or re reproduce itself, which is cloning. And it dies of old age in less than 125 hours. Well, you can buy one under, just go on Zappers. 100 countries in the United States, 100 companies in the United States make the Zapper. Holda Clark brought in the technology in 1955. It, that came off the Rife technology from 33, which Nikola Tesla did in 1906. So this is, this is all perfected technology. There's millions and millions of people that have these and use them to cure themselves of everything. I have all 3,800 frequencies. Anybody, you get sick, call me up. You don't have to say your name or nothing. Just say, this is what's bothering me. What's the frequency? And I'll give you the frequency or send you an email to the frequency over the phone. You can walk in, call up uh, any one of the Zapper companies, say, manufacture me a frequency Zapper with that frequency on it or multiple frequencies. You can go 1% above or below that frequency, and you can kill the DNA, which shuts down the chromosome, and your disease dies in five days. Nice and simple, cheap, costs you... 85 bucks to a, maybe 150 bucks for a zapper, multi-frequency. The other one is, in 19, 1977, uh, <clears throat> Tokyo, Japan, a woman was dying. She was 95 years old. She had three different types of flus from Southeast Asia. She also had seven different types of cancer. And she was in a coma. She had 105 degree fever and the because of her age and the fever they just said we'll just let her pass quietly well she didn't pass she recovered 100 percent with no sickness after five days so the doctor said well when you get the chicken pox the measles the mumps the flu you always get a fever with that because the fever prevents the cloning of the virus that got you sick in the first place the cure for malaria is 104 degrees for eight hours Anybody can sustain that. You just got to see what happens with malaria is the body goes into a fever every 72 to 96 hours. The multiplication of the malaria virus absorbs oxygen. So technically you die of suffocation. But if you heat the body up one degree hotter than its capabilities and it'll only go to 103 to kill 95% of the virus and then you're normal again for three days. But if you take it up to 104, for eight hours, you get 100% of the virus and you're purged. You're 100% cured. Until you, and then if you ever get infected a second time, your white cells will go into effect and kill it before it even has a chance to multiply once. My friend Dickey in uh, Guadalcanal was sick. We had two German scientists there to study doctors to study malaria because it's the number three killer on planet Earth of third world countries. And they, were, they had a two-year grant. In 14 days, they went back to Germany with the cure. They cured, we cured Dickey and his, and his son and uh, everybody else that was sick in Guadalcanal. They just came in one right after the other. They went into the, went in and they heated them up in an incubator with an IV drip so they could maintain a 104 degree fever, and, which doesn't hurt anybody really. You won't even get fever blistering from eight hours and cured people one right after another with that. 
So the fever is the secret. Now, if you have something serious, breast cancer, colon cancer, uh, prostate cancer, that's 105 degrees for that. You have to go into a barometric chamber of two atmospheres, 16.8% oxygen for 125 hours. We give you a sodium pentothal shot, which puts you to sleep, and an IV drip with food, as well as your artificial induced uh, fever. And I guarantee that after 125 hours, you will wake up and you will be purged of all known cancers in your body. I don't care how many different things you got going on, it'll kill all of them. The human body doesn't build junk. Your cells can withstand 105 degrees for about 90 days. And we're only talking about all known cancer proteins only have a 125 hour lifespan. A lot of them die at 103 hours for 103 degrees at 60 hours. So what you do is you graft it. Here's my. The reason I'm telling you that is most of you in here are of an age that, in spite of grammar, you want to live to enjoy what you're learning. So having the secrets of what I got to tell you is very important. So if you do a graft, you got uh, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, and then you got time. Uh, let's say 20 hours, 40 hours, 60 hours, and so on. So whatever your temperature is and it crosses your time, this is where you're going to, these, these are your targets. So you can do a, a biopsy, put it in a petri dish, subject it to a, a chart of 50 different temperatures from 100 to 105, and from in, tw in 20 hour increments up to 125 hours, and whatever temperature, whatever lowest frequency, or, excuse me, whatever lower t lowest temperature you can acquire to prevent cloning in the petri dish is all you have to do to heat your body with an IV drip, and you can purge your body of that illness without surgery and without any complications. It won't affect any of your other organs. So, that's the secret that nobody they want you to know about. And that was done to 3,850 people in Tokyo, Japan, and they all recovered except 8%, which were in their late 90s, and they were too weak and just died because it was their time to die. Their bodies weren't strong enough to take the heat. But everybody else was purged, and all these cancers were, were cured. So, and then they took the technology and they buried it. They published it in Science and Medical Magazine, 1977, July. I got a copy of it. And when I went to go back and get a second copy, I called around. It had been pulled off the market, and all the books were destroyed, and the technology was buried. There's only one of the eight doctors still alive in San Jose, Mexico, south of uh, San Diego. He runs, charges $38,000 to do the incubator process on anybody. So. I know there are still doctors in Russia. Yeah, you can go to other countries. You can go to Japan and get it done. You can go to China. You can go to Russia. You can go to... Mexico. The, the technology is sound. It's very simple. If anybody has wants me to talk to a doctor about it, I'll be more than happy to express it. Being that I have a sovereignty position with my own country and the King of Hawaii and dip, uh, diplomacy as an ambassador to 82 countries, I can talk and not, not get arrested. So I behave myself. <laughs>